Hello everybody! So in this video we're going to work in our I Spy 2 course book because we're going to begin Unit 4. Before we begin, I want us to look at the ghost poster pages, which are on page 18 and 19, and they begin Unit 3 and 4. We looked at it a long time ago, and in this poster page, we call it the poster page, uh, it's a lead-in to what it is we're actually going to study in the next two units. So in this poster page, we saw lots of ghosts who can do different actions. We also see a big old haunted house with the ghosts doing things everywhere. So in this we discussed long ago, what can the ghosts do? This green ghost can skateboard. The red ghost can juggle. Uh, oh yeah, maybe that's a blue ghost. The green ghost can bike. And the white ghost can swim, the yellow ghost can jump rope. Here you have some ghosts who can dance. These ghosts, the red one and the white one, can play ball. Many, many things that they can do. In Unit 3, we learned about how to say what you can do. Can swim, can ski, can jump, can juggle. Okay, so that was our poster page lead-in to Unit 3. Now, for Unit 4, this poster page lead-in is actually going to talk about household furniture, such as a refrigerator, a bed, dining table, sofa, as well as prepositions of place, such as behind, under, behind, in, in the wardrobe. So, Unit 4, we're going to start working on, continue working our action verbs from Unit 3, but household furniture and prepositions of place such as in, on, under, behind will also review or begin. Okay? Now please open your course book to page 26 and we're going to do our typical lead-in listening activity. This is listening number 57. We have to listen to three different vignettes where we have Wolfie and his dog <laughs> doing silly stuff. The doggie is doing silly stuff. So with Wolfie, we're going to try to figure out which one is first. Is it the A, B, or C? So you know exactly how to do this. So we have Wolfie at his house with his doggie Wuggy doing Lots of batis. Okay, please listen and try to remember which one is first, second, and third. Okay, here we go. Please listen. Listening number 57. Listen and choose. Choose. A, B, or C. Where are my shoes? They're under the bed, Dad. <laughs> hmm. Your dog is under the bed, too. Ooh, where oh was the dog? Oh, dear. <laughs> Where's my newspaper? <gasps> it's on the floor, Dad. <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Where's my dinner? It's on the table in the kitchen, Dad. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> my dinner is in the dog. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So which story was first, which story was second, which story was third? Now, the father was asking where is his shoe, under the bed, where is his newspaper, on the floor, where is his dinner, on the desk, uh, on the table, <laughs> things like that. It looks like the dog is 
not well trained. <laughs> bad manners, bad manners. Oh dear. Okay, now in this next little rhyme that we're going to listen to, listening number 58, you're going to just hear a little chant. You have Freckle, Witchy, Wolfie, and Ghost, our three ghoul school friends, and they're talking about where are they putting things, okay? Such as under the table or on the chair or in your bag or in the air, okay? So let's listen and it's a little chant that you can sing, okay? All right, just a second. Here we go. Oops, sorry. Listening number 58. Listen. There you go. Put your pen under the table. Put your pencil on the chair. Put your book in your bag. And jump in the air. Again. Let's try it again. Listening number 58. Listen. Listen. It's fast. Put your pen under the table. Put your pencil on the chair. Put your book in your bag. And jump in the air. Okay, now I, hopefully you guys can do that just as fast. You have to do it as quickly as you want. So you go, I'll go a little slower than the, the CD. So it's very simple. You just, you can clap yourselves to try to keep the rhythm, okay? Put your pen under the table. Put your pencil on the chair. Put your book in your bag and jump in the air. So you can clap it. So that'll help you keep the beat so that you don't slow down or, or speed up. Uh, or you can do a little drumming, okay? Put your pen under the table, put your pencil on the chair, put your book in the bag, and jump in the air, <laughs> okay? So, just to practice the little rhyme, and it's to understand in, under, and on. In the air, on the chair, under the table, in the bag, okay? So in the bag is going inside and jumping in the air. You can do that with the verb jump in or like a pool. You're going to jump into the pool and jump into the air, okay? So this is, we're still reviewing our verbs, but also uh, prepositions of place. For sure, you need to understand under, on, in. And then I would like you to make sure that you do, oh, where did I put it? Oh, yeah. Activity book, you need to make sure you do your activity book, page 22. And it's our typical warm-up vocabulary uh, for starting unit four, okay? So you have to write the right first letter of each of these little symbols and it'll say something and then you have to choose which one, which of the spies is this talking about. You have to look carefully because like, where is her hat, is her hat? On the, under the t chair, under the bed, on the bed, on the bed, where's the bag? So you're practicing the instru um, the prepositions of place in, under, on again, okay? Okay, bye-bye. Don't forget to show me photos of your work.